Hello everybody, Togal here and welcome back to Colony Survival. The game has undergone a lot of development. There's um, two major patches, I think, since the last time I played. I think the last time I played was at 0 0.5 and now we're up to 0 0.7, so they add a lot of new content. The last time, Season 1, we made it up to 2,000 colonists and it was a lot of fun, the game, already. But there was just nothing else to do. Besides um, just stretching out more and more and kind of abusing some of the mechanics that um, the way they were, okay? Because um, we had a lot of farms and so on outside of the claim and we locked our guards and so in. And as far as I know, a lot of these things are not possible, you know, because there's also now a happiness. So there's a lot of changes to the game and I decided I'm going to make our right, season two. So this new world right here, just name and the other things here, I just took default. Day monsters, none. Night, normal, use happiness, and this is the seed. And let's go ahead and load into this world. I'm excited to be back in this game. It, like I said, it was a lot of fun the first time I played it. And I hope it's going to be a lot of fun again. I did log in one time real quick um, just to get myself familiar with the key bindings and so on again. Um, and there was one change I made to the graphic settings, and that is I turned off the bloom effect. Because the bloom is just super overkill. Like when you're near water, which we're going to have to be because now there's also a water mechanic. Um, from what I understand, you need to... You have like uh, some of the, the colonists that you need to fill water buckets or something like that. Okay. And I am looking for something a little bit flat. I think this is water down there. So this is a nice valley on this side. Let's check out the side over here real quick. And you guys see I picked up a couple of the berry bushes. Um, I think that when we make a colony, it comes with a few already. But I just want to make sure that I have enough. Hmm. All right. So this one over here almost looks like entrance to an ocean. So I am not sure which one, which side I'm going to like better. If I want to start down here, we have these different type of grass over here it almost looks like a savanna style or if i like it. let's just start over here i like this place it looks good and like i said it's like probably somewhere right here and i see a lot of berry bushes down there is where we're gonna start our colony now um i don't really have a goal of what i want to do um what my goal is in this uh, playthrough but i do want to well obviously have some fun and push the boundaries um, I hope that um, being allowed to have multiple colonies is something, by the way, now that I read in the patch notes. I skimmed over them um, over the last few um, to get an idea. And it is possible now also in single player, from what I read, to make multiple colonies. Which would mean that we can keep all our colonists in colonies and we don't need to worry about, you know, mobs spawning within our walls. Which would be really cool. I'm, I'm excited about this. Now, I am not sure how far down um, I want to be. I kind of want to make it so I don't have to excavate too much in the beginning. So we got one layer, two, three. I think this layer right here, because that stretches to these hills over there. So this is going to be our ground floor right here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with filling in the rest. We're probably going to have kind of step ups or whatever. And I do also want to build this time around. I, I kind of feel like building a giant castle. Um, like a really big castle. Not just walls, but actually castles with rooms and farms inside. And of course, we're going to go underground as well. So I set this layer right here. Okay, so... Um, I'm probably going to have to chop down some trees. So I think I'm going to get all the ones in the area here because they're going to have to go anyway. Okay, they still disappear so nice and fast. Um, and the other thing is that I remember, yeah, you guys see there's different trees. Like this one tree has two different leaves already. This is a different leaves. And I don't know if the wood also does not stack. So we'll see. I just need a little bit of extra wood. Yeah, you guys see this is different. Different wood here. Um, I have, what is this? Log temperate, log temperate, and then it's log taiga. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I use up the ones um, first. So I'm trying to think here um, with the happiness. I have no idea how this works yet. I know there is a new work 
table here, or it's called a grocery store. And it says colonists visit here once a day to gather food and happiness items. And I cannot click on these up here yet before I make a colony. So why don't we make this here? Where do we want the middle to be? Further back, I think. Uh, let's just check here real quick. If I, I want to get to just the edge of the water. So we have a little bit of water inside of our colony. And we're going to call this first colony here. Oh boy. Um, I, let's call this one... Munchhausen. Why not? Okay, now let's see. Okay, so this is way before the edge. So I need to come over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's say, let's go about sixteen more blocks. And from here, I'm just counting this out real quick. So this is 19. Okay, so let's put it... So this is 18, 17. Let's put it here. So I'm going to put down a... So this is the height I want. And we're going to move the flag to this one. I'm not really sure, actually. Um, can I just pick you up? Yes, delete colony. Thank you. And now let's put it up here. Active colony. Move banner. Ah, okay. All right, cool. Yeah. So I can get down to the water here when I need to. And otherwise, I have this right here. Now, I am going to just lay out the corners real quick. So I know how far I can build. This is one corner. And then um, I think throughout the night, I'm just going to go ahead and collect a bunch of wood and so on. Um, now, let's test something here real quick. If I remove this... Oh, cool. It does fill. I'm guessing this is a water source block. All right. Okay, so it is right here is the corner. Let's put this up one. And I think, yes, they give you some torches here. Let's just put a torch here just so we see where the corner is better. And yeah, let me go ahead and just set this up. And I'm probably going to start building a little bit of a wall around it. Um, throughout the first night here. I'm not going to put any colonists down until we actually have our uh, wall up and like at least place to put one guard so I don't need to worry about shooting myself at night. I, I never really liked that. Wait, I'm this far out? Wow, okay. So the corner is right there. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. It just turned morning, but I am actually almost done with the wall. It was quite quick. And then we'll just figure out where they come in. I think I'm going to do this right on this side over here. Um, so let's just for now, let's let's put the mobs coming in right there. And I do want to use leaves. I'm going to need to pick some real quick. Let's go ahead and use these dark leaves. So I have not used them before. And we're just going to set up a, a small little... Um, not maze, but yeah, I guess it is a little bit of a maze. Um just so they need to walk and follow the path there. That should be enough right here. So in case you have not played this game, how this works is that um, every night there's zombies that are going to spawn. The more colonists you have, the more evolved in tech you are in research, I think. Uh, the harder the mobs get and the more that spawn. Um, like insane amounts later on. Just waves and waves. And they're trying to get to this banner here. Okay, and every time a zombie gets to a banner, you lose a colonist or they smack it and they lose a colonist. Or they will co kill colonists on the way to get to the banner. Um, so that's it. It's pretty much a tower defense game in block form. Um, so our goal is to make this as... Mm, I almost want to call it convoluted as possible to get through here. And like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and set up a very simple little... Um, ways here um, and the reason for that is that these mobs or the zombies at night they will they just need one way you only need to have one way coming into your base and we're just going to use this leaf right there so they can step up and then they follow that and i'm going to have a few guards here so while they zigzag through here they're being shot at and killed okay so that is the goal for us now, of course, later on, this needs to become much longer and harder. And I have a really fun idea for that. 
Oh, I need more. This is Taiga. Do I have any more Taiga? No. Control left click makes a stack, by the way, in case you didn't know that. So my idea is that when we build this giant castle, that we're actually going to run all the zombies through the castle, like floor by floor, um, somehow. I want to make it fun. Um, so you can see the zombies the entire time while they're running through here And I don't want to kill any before they get into the castle That is the idea that I have of doing I think that would be fun instead of you know Just killing them out there as easy as possible Let's let's see them. I think that's fun Like literally they're gonna walk by the workstations of our colonists while they're being shot at by guards kind of things um all right, let's come here. And I have no idea if you can actually... Well, science. Can I jump off the water out of here? No. So I'm guessing that they could not do that either. Um, but we're still going to make it too high just in case. Now, um, I'm not going to start building the actual castle until we... Um, we have our colony researched to a higher tier. I'm not really sure yet. Maybe we'll build the castle right here this size. And then outside of that, we have like a moat or walls. I'm, I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. I don't need to come up here. I need to come up here. Because it only needs to be too tall from the outside. All right, done. So now we get a too tall wall all the way around. I hope so. Did we do? I'm going to run the perimeter in a second. I don't think they can step up over here from the corner. So that's it. All right. So now we're secured. The entrance is there. Now, if you take the entrance away, by the way, if I would make this only too high and I did not have this entrance mace over here. Oh, I forgot one thing. I need to do that. Where is it? Right there. We need to add a step down right here so they can actually it, they, they don't jump off too high. They Everything in this game can only walk up or down one block. Okay, so even if the zombies get up here, they cannot just jump down if I don't give them the step down and then they would go over here to the banner. Okay, but now that we have this, it's time for us to set up some farms. And from what I was reading is you can even do three dimensional farms now. And I just want to test this. So let's go ahead and get our first food and berry farmer. So like right here, just for testing. Oh yeah, check that out. You can do that. Now, I remember them planting every second, so it's going to have to be a four by, what What can we go to? Twelve, so that's 48. I don't want to do a two-dimensional, though. Um, I, I do want to keep it everything one-dimensional if I can. It just looks better, I think. Uh, but anyways, um, the other thing I was thinking is that I think the water level down here, that's going to be our, um, it's telling me in the chat right now that I need to get a colonist to actually work this field. Um, but like this is going to be the ground floor because what we should be able to do here, oops, let's test this real quick. Yes, we can bring the water in. And that way we could, like, you know, run water to different buildings inside. I don't think there's a way of picking up water. Um, I, I read up on that. I don't think there's... Maybe we can pick it up with a bucket because there's buckets later on from what I know. Oh, by the way, now we can click on this happiness here. So total happiness is 25. Recruitment costs zero. Science speed, 100% of normal. Calories. And then, of course, we have science, but we need to have... Like, in order to do that, I think I need to... Oh, my God, train, will you be quiet? Manage owner's recruitment. Let's go ahead and recruit. There's got to be a, a key binding to get to this. Let me check real quick. Um, gameplay, key mappings. Let's see. I would like to have a key binding to go directly to that. Hmm. Place multiple areas. I uh, hope I did not scroll over it. Toggle colony tab C. And then you still need to click on recruitment. But there's a thing here called auto recruitment on job placement. Turning this on, recruit a new colonist when placing a job with at least 10, negative 10 happiness, spare beds, 
two days worth of food and exactly zero unemployment. Okay. So that means because we're at negative one, it will not do it. All right. So we're going to need to make a few beds here anyway. So let's go to berry farmers and a forester. And let's go a night guard. And then I think we're going to need one for this grocery store. So let's just go ahead and do this here. And I think for the time being, I'm going to put these beds here. I believe they are now. They changed it a little bit that these colonists will actually just go and find the nearest bed. Um, I hope it works that way now. That they don't run, you know, miles to get to their bed. Um, that's I, I read that somewhere. Let's get a crate over here. Okay, and we're going to put this crate. I'm going to have another 4 by 8 so let's put it right there. And let's go and do this. This is a three and then there's four. I don't want to do that. All right, let me go ahead and get rid of this one. Oh, can't have that. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make another berry farmer here. And then I think we're going to keep... Nine by nines, I think, is what we used to do for the for the foresters because a 10 by 10 they they plant like with one um it's probably easiest to just explain it when when they're doing it so this we need to go a nine by nine they, they're planting every sapling they're planting needs to have one uh room to each side so meaning um there would be the first sapling and then one space here one space there one space here so that is if you go with a 10 by 10 you're wasting one around it if that makes sense right the one one space is wasted all right so they're all here and we can put our night guard up here already let's go ahead and put him here let's go night guard slinger that's all we can do and i'm actually gonna put him here so there we go and then it says that once a day these guys need to come visit this thing here Let's go ahead and craft one of them, and we're just going to put this here for now. Okay, and I think this also needs a worker now. Yes, so I need five workers. So let's go ahead and recruit these guys. Uh, recruit to fill all jobs. Bam. Done. Oh, our happiness went down to 15. Okay, and we do have some sling bullets. Because now that we have colonists, we might see some guys spawning. Oh, by the way, sorry about that. I can turn on the light. Um, I totally forgot. My bad. Hopefully it wasn't too dark. All right. So this guy's going to wait here. And if there's any mobs, they can only go in here as far as I know. I don't see any spawning. So it's quite possible that they're just not um, spawning when you don't have anything at night. All right. Cool. So we have a little bit of copper. We also have a science lab. Oh, yeah, we're putting this one down right away. I want to get going with science. The quicker, the better. Let's put this here. And that means I need another bed. Bam. And recruit you. Recruiting the next colonist costs 8,000 calories. Cost is 50% of normal cost due to happiness. Okay, what is that? I'm not really sure yet how this works. Okay, ration calories. What's the red and... Ow, bread. Because we have bread. Um, because they, they start us with some bread. That's just, it was as soon as we made the colony, it came with a lot of this stuff. We also have this firewood and so on. But now that we have this, we should be able to actually do some research. Bronze anvil, flax farming, or water gathering. Unlocks the water gather. Filling buckets with water from open water. Um, let's start with this. Required planks, copper nails, and copper parts. That unlocks the empty bucket and the water gatherer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this. And I hope we have the planks and so on. But we don't have the copper parts. All right. Then it is time to make. Oh boy. This thing here. Workbench. I need copper parts and copper tools. Copper parts. And copper tools. 
and let's go ahead and make one of these workbenches and put this here. And then I remember on this one, we can have um, set different priorities and so on. And I think this one is here, to, yeah, when it starts like this and it tells you how many to keep of the items and so on. It's going to make five beds, 40 planks, 40 planks, 12 torches, workbench, one, one, some plaster block. Okay, I don't want any of those right now. No bread. All right, let's just leave it at this. And I have to recruit this. Oh, I have to make a bed again. All right, there we go. And now I can recruit this guy. All right, good. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and let these berry farmers, they already have it. Okay, I probably want to add another one. We're going to need lots of food. So let's go ahead and make another four rows here. And this needs to be grass. All right, good. So let's go ahead and make food, berry farmer. And put another one here. All right. And then right here. I need another bed. I cannot afford a bed. What am I missing here? Copper nails. Okay. Give me the bed. Okay. So now the next thing is definitely we need to focus on is get underground. And start getting. Um stone hard gathered and also whatever the first metals are i'm guessing copper and i think there's a second one um what would the second one be i don't know all right let's figure out where we want to make the mine entrance um not really near the water or there uh this is the middle let's make it somewhere near the middle here so this is one two three four five so this would be the middle column. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a, a spiral staircase again. That seems to work the best, at least from what I remember. Because that way I did not need to worry about, you know, um, am I running out of room while, while I go down? Actually, you know what? I can leave these in here so we cannot fall into the holes. And then I remember because of the step up, there's going to be a step here. We can go down here. Yes. Uh, what I mean by that is let's go ahead and make one of these or eight, whatever. And I don't need you guys. Okay. So when you come up to here, right? If there is one right there, you, you have a hard time turning. So now there's a second one, third, and this is only for me because the colonists don't need this. They walk up these stairs like bosses, but I don't want to have to deal with, with um, the walking up parts, right? Okay, and then, so this is one, two, three, four, yes, and then this next one we're not going to turn. And I'm going to clear out the rest here, and now we're going to turn again and go down. And I'm going to go ahead and keep digging until... I get to the other colored stone. I think that is how it was. Um, and that was an indicator. I think that you know you are now actually at the mining level. So this is... Let's go ahead and place these while we go. Oh, and I'm hitting my head. Good to know. All right. Um, I do want to take this all out because i'm probably gonna need the dirt anyway for farms and so on but the, the middle column for now i'm gonna leave bam all right so now we can easily walk up here good and these guys obviously are asking for copper and how we're doing on we're using sixteen thousand calories a day we're down to two hundred and fifty two thousand. so i am not sure you know how how much i'm making yet i don't think they have ever made it so there's an indicator if you're making too much or too little calories use slash day i'm not sure if there's a way for me to find out how much they're actually needing so that's one two three four and yes whoops 
So this one here is going to be the turret. Alright, let me go ahead and keep digging here. Okay, I just found a little bit of a problem here. Do I need to take some of these on my bar? There is a zombie on my wall. And I saw him come over on this side. Oh, right here. This is only a one step up. Okay. My bad. All right, now he's going to walk all the way around because the... Well, actually to here. Watch. He's going to step down right here and that will go ahead and kill him. There we go. So I think... Yeah. Just left click. There we go. He's dead. And I hope there's no other ones. All right, I saw another zombie come from this way. Let's see if there's any coming. Oh, he's shooting. And you did. I see another one's head right over there. Okay, so I hope that because this guy walked around that I have all the holes done. But we'll see. If otherwise, I get the messages. And let's just get rid of this stuff again. I'm starting to get uh, pretty low here. Um, but I still have a couple blocks to go, I think. Okay, I think I am there. Um, I'm losing count here. One, two, three. And then here we turn, yes. So we're going to have to keep that same going. I'll clean this out in a second, and then here we go down. But this is the level. You guys see, the stone is now different, and I think that is the indicator that we are at the level where we're going to find ores. I, at least that's how I remember it. So now let's see if you come down here. We're just going to go ahead and start. Uh -huh. So there is a little bit of a difference. But, hmm. So why is it different here than here? I am not sure, but let's just go ahead and clean this out. There's already one copper. I'm pretty sure this is copper. Um, and what was the other thing that we... Was there this stuff here? Did I not pick any of that up? So we got copper. He's using the sling bullets. I don't know what the other one is. Is that tin? Now let's find one on the ground. I don't want to pick this one up because I want to assign a guy to it. Okay, but I think this is good enough for now. So let's just put down a torch here for a second. And we got one copper and one of this and we can put some stone. And so can I make beds? What do I need for bed? Copper nails. Oops, I got to click over here. So let's get three beds. And in the beginning, everything is just, um, you know, trying to get things going. And then you can actually start worrying about making it pretty and maximizing everything and so on. So right now we're fine. And I need another crate. I need more copper nails. Okay. So we need one crate here. And we're going to put it right there. Okay. And now we can set up our miner. And this guy right here is for whatever this is. You place it, yeah, you place it on whatever you're mining. This, and then we're going to put one guy right there. And this one is going to get stone. Where are you guys? Why did you just come down here? Is that the closest crate to something? Probably. Um, sorry, let's go colony, recruitment, fill all jobs. Okay, now we're going to wait here a second. Ah, there we go. What is this? Tin. So it is tin. I didn't see it on my bar here. And we're making enough sling bullets right now. So now we can just start. There we go. They're going to work. So we got 15 and 1. And where's the stone? Right here. I'm just waiting for them to pick something up here. Come on. Are you guys going to dig? This forest that just came down here. Oh, they just took copper to make copper parts or nails or something. 
Guys, how long does it take you to pick up a piece of tin or something? What what is he digging? Oh, there the picture is in the in the in the Now he just dropped it off. 15 now we got six okay so they pick up five at a time and then drop it off all right cool so these guys are done so now um that i'm getting you know copper and stone that should be enough for now we can worry about ah these guys are coming down here okay that's why so let me go ahead and see guys see how they keep going downstairs to get this stuff so i'm gonna put them a crate right here so now this guy doesn't need to he just turns from here to there and gets the parts that he needs. Okay, so let's take a look at this happiness here for a second. Berries. Happiness value 10 in stockpile 60. Because we're up to a happiness of 35. I think we started with 25, yes. Plus 10 availability for berry, plus 10 availability for bread. And negative 11 for population. So because we have 11 colonists. So that means once I'm running out of bread, that is going to go down another 10. So I'm going to have to start figuring out what I needed to do. Okay, so this is done. Cool. So we now got a water gatherer done. All right, there we go. Bread production. I think I want to get this. I, I remember bread was super important. Uh, berries, copper parts, and copper tools. Done. All right. So, but can I already now... Do I have any... How does it work with wheat? Um, don't we need a wheat? Requires bread production to be unlocked first. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for this to be done. All right, makes sense. All right, so now it's a waiting game. Now I'm going to give these guys a chance to produce everything. Um, like on this here, we have the... I don't know what green me in stockpile 100 so i'm guessing that means that we have everything orange means we have some uh we want to oh so they it, it's kind of like a red we have none in stockpile and then it's orange means we have a few and then it gets to like a, this is almost like a lime a yellowish we're getting close to because we have 28 and we're asking for 45 Oh my god, science bread production is already completed. Okay. Sweet. A barley farmer, which is used to feed livestock. We have livestock? What? Fishing. What does it take to this? We need unlock um, olive farming. What does it take for olive farming? We need beekeeping. Let's take for beekeeping. We need flax farming. Bam, do it. Start science. Yes, please. Oh, and then we're going to get both strings. Very cool. Okay, so let's see here. 158. I'm going to have to start looking at this. We only have 46 berries. I think we need to set up a couple more berry farmers. Well, we have a grindstone. Hmm. Hmm. What to do first? Let's go ahead and we need beds. Okay, so let me get one for a wheat farmer, one for that other guy, one for the baker. So let's say three more. And let's put these one, two, three right here. And let's just set up a berry farm up here. A wheat farm. Um, don't remember how big I want those, so I'm going to go ahead and make some room here real quick. Let's see here. Food. Boom. Nine. I think we used to make those 10 by 10. Okay, so I'm going to have to just take out one more row real quick. Just so we keep it one dimensional for now. Nope. Bam. Yeah. Done. All right. So I did put down the bed. And then what we're going to need is one grindstone to make the flour. And then we're going to need this here, an oven. Uh, bread crate. Crate is not used by colonists. Okay. And we also have a furnace that makes something. All right. What do I need for this? Copper parts. Let's get those so we can make a furnace. And 
and more copper parts and let's make one of these as well i don't remember what it is for so that's why i want to see it okay so i'm gonna need one more bed because i have three more yes i do okay there okay and let's go ahead and set these up right now and we're just gonna keep all of this near the crate here for a minute so we can figure this out sorry this needed to be this way because they're standing on these but oh, this one doesn't matter okay and let's put this guy here okay so this one is infinite grinding good baking infinite and this one here makes us bronze ingots and bricks and let's go ahead and set these to a little bit lower for now just okay let's go 40 and 15 just for now i don't want to have to worry about our resources just yet oh whoa whoa why are they on the wall i messed something up over here what how did they get up on the wall are you kidding me right now i forgot another one okay i'm gonna run around this whole perimeter here now and check that i actually have too high everywhere they could jump up whoops if i can actually jump this guy is getting awfully busy up here there's another one coming so i think i'm gonna add a second night guard I mean, he is holding his ground, but we're expanding quite fast when it comes to colony numbers. So I want to make sure that um, we get it under control early. So I need another bed, and let's go ahead and get a guard slinger. And we're going to put it right there. All right, good. Let's put down this other bed. I'm telling you, this game... The micromanagement, it's, it's a lot of fun to me. Um, wait, wrong one. We need to recruit, fill all jobs. 16 of 16, perfect. All right, and they are apparently instantly picked up their stuff. <laughs> their, um, their happiness or whatever, their grocery. So this one here turned all brown. It turned all into dirt. Okay. Uh, we can change this into grass. Which grass was this? This one, I think. Yes. Okay, and then I think the next wheat farmer is going to be up here. And then we're probably going to need to add a forester here as well. So I'm going to take this one down here. And this one we're actually going to wait because I want to see if it is... Um, maybe he needs to plant first before it turns into grass maybe i was wrong but we are gonna need wood i think we're gonna run short on that really quick let's get another bed and get this forester going nine by nine colony recruit Time sure gets by quick uh, when you play this game. Um, so I just edited the video and saw that we're already well over 30 minutes. But I added another berry farmer. I finally added that flax field here so that research was able to be done. And then I added another wheat field because you guys see at the top, right? The total calories is going down big time. Um, we're up to 21 colonists now. And then I noticed over here that this guy is missing water buckets. So we do have a bunch of flour and it says infinite are we not is this just a coincidence that we're exactly at a hundred it's been there for a while where is the wheat itself i don't see it okay but anyway so we need water um i don't have any more beds now let's give me those and i'm just gonna add them right here for now one two Let's just add all five so I have some spare. And did I have it checked still? Yes. Okay. So as long as you have zero unemployment and there's empty beds and you place something, it will automatically be done. Of course, now it's nighttime. You got to be kidding me. Okay. So, but anyways, um, let's see here. Food miner. 
Is it under food? Oh yeah, there we go. Water gatherer. All right. Okay, so let's put this guy... Let's just do one. And... Why does it show unemployed... Why did it not recruit this guy? I have beds. Is it because it's night? I don't understand that. Oh, I gotta turn on the flashlight so we can see again. Um, well, then let me just recruit it manually. I don't understand why it didn't do it automatically. But now, hopefully, when the morning comes, we will um, get some water and then the food should go up. And uh, let's check here real quick. What am I currently researching? Oh, by the way, I checked this here. I also saw it. That this is... Uh, it's not colonist uh, dependent, which uh, wasn't like that before. It was just a research, right? And this one here, not this one, beekeeping is completed. That's the one that we did. All right, cool. So now we could go to olive farming. And I feel like that I want to... Sorry about that. Um, I think that I want to go ahead and do barley farming next. Just um, bread production, which is used to feed livestock. Because I'm guessing this is going to unlock livestock or whatever. My My main focus I want to be in the beginning is on food, right? That, that seems to be the most important. And I think I'm going to take down the center um, column here just to make it visually better. That's what I did in last season as well. And I already dug down to here. And you guys see, I think that this is clay and this is iron. So I'm on the right level now. And I'm going to do a lot of stuff off camera between the episodes when it comes to digging and, and just making sure that everything is stocked up, right? Um, I'm probably also going to need to add a second uh, one of these guys here that uh, is on top of making us the slingshots. I think I'm going to up these a little bit. Let's go to 500 for now. So they get going. Oh, and one more important thing I totally forgot to mention is I added a day guard up here. Because the second time now that two of my berry farmers get killed, and that costs a lot of... Um, calories to get these guys back right so um and it was i think these two guys were in bed already and then i watched and i saw these guys they were just over here right so they must have gotten into the base when when daytime broke you know the leftover stragglers and they just you know, well nothing defended them and i was underground digging so anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and wait this out tonight and then hopefully we can see this water gatherer in action here. Oh, one important thing is we don't want this guy to move. So we're going to put a crate over here right behind it. So he can just deposit it right there. Cool. That is the only thing. Let's see here. There are three empty buckets. Two empty buckets. I don't... <sighs> Well, so where where is this going? What I don't see anything extra here. Oh, okay. So he makes four at a time and then deposits them. I get it. So I'm probably gonna need to. Okay, so now I just saw it go down to. So now this guy should be baking bread, right? Yes. There we go. All right. Now let's see here. We are at twenty. And let's just see how long it takes until he deposits something. Or she. They're just gender neutral. One of my workers here. Colonists. Come on. Okay, so they're eating. So there we go. It just deposited six. And then put the empty buckets back in here. Alright, so I think just to make sure that there is no problems in the future. I am just going to go ahead and up this bucket production to... 10. Just give it a couple of extra buckets. And yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so um, my goal for between episodes is I would like to level this all out somewhat. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet how I want to do it because I did say that I wanted to come down to this level so I can have water all the way around. But I, I just need to play around with it. I'm just going to be busy work and I definitely want to get my calories back up, right? So if I add anything, it will be food related. Oh, science barley farming is completed. Let's just see real quick what uh, opened, what that opened up. So complete. And now we can do chicken farming. That requires barley. 
Aha, and we need feathers to make arrows now. Wow. Okay, so that is actually really important. And it requires barley, 250. So I think we're going to need to add one of those fields here. How am I doing on wood? Okay, the wood is going up. We were at 150. So I, let's go ahead and how many beds do I have left? Four. Okay, let's go ahead and do a... Oh, okay, let's do both of these real quick. Sorry. So let's go ahead and make a 10 by 10 right here. What's happening here? There we go. Eight, nine, two, ten, ten. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Click the wrong button. All right, good. So we got the barley farmer. And... Okay, I get it. Why? What is the point? This is so... I'm just gonna leave it. Um... Boom, done. I don't understand why it keeps doing this. And I'm, I, I thought that I am um, fitting all the requirements. And I probably want to add a new crate over here so this guy doesn't have to run so far. Let's just put it here for right now. And then the other thing was beekeeping. Yes. Um, let's see how this works real quick, just so we can set this up. We got a lot done in the first episode. So beekeeper tool. I, I don't know how this works here, my friend. Um... Okay, too large. Five by five is too big. Five by four, six by four, seven, eight. So 32 seems to be the biggest. All right, let's go. I just want to see real quick what happens here with this beekeeper. I have no idea. I'm, is it just going to put down bee houses or... And I might need to add another water keeper or something. Yeah, look at that. Aha, so this is like berry bushes. So four by eight. I hope that is how I did it. It's two, four, six, eight. Yes, so it's just like berry bushes. All right, very cool. Well, but that's it for today, guys. I hope that you guys can see. We got a pretty good start. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting deep into this. But I do, like I said, I want to do a lot of stuff between episodes just downstairs, digging out the, the mining areas a little bit further. And I just want to get the food up before next episode. And then um, also crank up the output on certain things. Like, um, just to give an example, I want to bring up, you know, so we have five of the science labs ready, five of these, you know, everything. So if we need it, it's there for us to use, right? So we don't need to wait while I'm recording. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, and please, if you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it and helps my channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So you get all the notifications like I just did on my phone. Great, right? <laughs> All right, until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.